Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to install Unity through Unity Hub on Linux. So the distribution of Linux I'm running on this computer is Manjaro, but this should work on other distributions of Linux like Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Um, so if you don't know what Unity Hub is, it's a very easy to use launcher for Unity. And uh, so what it does is it can manage all of your installations and it makes things much easier. I use it all the time, it's a really great piece of software. So to install Unity Hub, we're going to go to Firefox, and once we're in Firefox, uh, I'm going to paste the um, app image download link, and this will be available in the description, and press enter. So now we get this dialog right here, which asks us if, if we want to save the file. So it's 55.4 megabytes. Um, this should take anywhere between a few seconds and a few minutes to download, depending on what your um, internet speed is. So I'm going to press OK, and Firefox will start installing it in the top right. So we got uh, a few seconds left, and it's done. So now we're going to click right here, open containing folder, and we see this cog right here. So this is the Unity Hub setup dot app image file. So one would have thought to start up the installation, you'd want to double click on it. But however, if you double click on it, you get this error that says could not display Unity Hub setup dot app image. There is no application installed for AppImage application bundle files. I'm going to press OK. So the problem we have here is that um, AppImage files is a program, so it needs to be executed. However, by default, when you install something from the internet, Linux does not set it as executable. So if you want to set it as executable, you have to click on it, right-click to open the options, and then go down to Properties. In Properties, go to the Permissions, and here, select execute so um, allow executing file as program and now when we close this and double click on it again now the installer starts so you're going to agree to the unity terms of service and now it asks you would you like to integrate home archie downloads unity hub setup dot app image with your system this will add it to your applications menu and install icons if you don't do this you can still launch the application by double clicking on the app image so it says what it says. If you do not uh, integrate it with your system, then it won't be in your programs, and you always have to go back to downloads to open the um, the program. But if you do integrate it, it will be like any other program on your computer. So we're going to press yes, and then Unity Hub should be finished installing. So we're going to I'm going to maximize this. Um, so we have no projects, of course. It's a fresh install. So down here it says you have no valid license, and we can press dismiss. And now if we press new up here, and make a new project, it'll give us this error that says no editor installed. Please install Unity before creating a project. And the reason why this is here is we didn't install Unity, we've installed Unity Hub. So this is a launcher, so we don't have any installs yet. So if you go to installs, no Unity version. So if you want to install a version of Unity, we go up to add up here. So these are all the different versions of Unity, the Unity that can be currently installed. So we have latest official releases and latest pre-releases. So if you're not familiar, official releases are stable and uh, generally they won't have very many bugs and glitches. But pre-releases are still in development and they may have very many bugs in them and they're definitely not suitable for production. So um, I like 2019.2 and that's why I've been using to experiment recently. So that's the release I'm going to select and press next. And now we're going to choose what modules we want. So what modules are is if you want to build an Android app, then you'd want to select Android build support. If you want to make a web game to put on itch.io, you would select WebGL um, build support. Uh, if you're a freak and you want to build to Facebook Game Room for some reason, then you'd select Facebook Game Room build support. So I'm going to select um, WebGL build support. That's the only real module I use. Um, standalone builds are out of the box, so you can build to Linux, um, Windows, etc. out of the box. Uh, and then there's also some language packs. I don't really know what these do, but 
I don't need those. So that's pretty much what's in the modules. So now if we press done, we have 2019.2.0b9 and it's beginning to install. So this will actually take a really long time because Unity is a quite a big program, several gigabytes. If you pile on the extensions, the modules, sorry, if you put lots of modules on it, this it might take even longer. So if, don't install every single module because they're just going to slow down your installation time. So believe it or not, that's the end of the tutorial. So um, once that finishes, uh, then once this install bar right here finishes, then just go to projects, press new, and you're in the engine. So there are lots of tutorials around for getting started with Unity um, and have fun. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, dislike if you want to do that. Um, and see you in the next video. Bye.